Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of The OC Show. This is season three, episode two. Uh, this is Tim. My name is Peter. First things first, there is another bunch of uh, Q&As coming. Yeah, so we're going to keep the same concept as last year because uh, Q&As were always quite successful. So the first Q&A is going to be uh, Tuesday, not Thursday, like it's written on there, at 9 p.m. <laughs> East <laughs> Eastern time. And uh, again, we'll be there with uh, Truthman as well as myself and some eventual guests to talk about the the main topics of the week. All right. So as, uh, as we continue the same kind of a uh, thing like last year. First things first, there's the OC Esports competitions. Yeah, so the start of the year has been already quite uh, quite busy for those of you that are into competitive overclocking. The ROG OC Showdown was the big competition that opened up this year first. Uh, it's the extreme round three of the 2015 uh, OC showdown. Uh, so basically, um, they were waiting that um, Skydeck was more into everywhere and then more people all over the world had access. Uh, so with 31 participants, uh, it ended up yesterday. Right now in the rankings, Dan Cup, XA and Raccoon are in the top three and rankings aren't confirmed at the moment yet. So we are waiting for the OC sport team to validate all the scores. And during the winter, Gigabyte also has a competition called the Z, uh, Z170 uh, Winter OC Challenge, very appropriately named. Uh, it's a competition, again, like uh, Gigabyte has been doing for the past couple of competitions, split up into different core counts and split up into different, like an ambient, and you have an extreme competitions. The benchmarks vary between 3 Mark 11 Physics, XTU, HW Prime, Geekbench 3. Uh, yeah. St uh, plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, and it ends on the 28th, so you still have some oh, days yeah, there right. to eventually participate. Uh, the old school is best school. We are keep on going with this uh, retro hardware featuring competition uh, that is very well appreciated by the community. Right now in the lead, uh, the Hellas overclocking team from Greece. We have also hard OC Czech team from Czech Republic and uh, Tech Sweden in the top three. So Very cool. These, these guys, they really love their old hardware. Yeah, it seems that there's a there's a golden corner over there in Europe uh, where old hardware is still the norm. Yeah, it's the people who've been in the overclocking scene for a very long time. On the opposite spectrum of that, what a nice segue, we have the Rookie Rumble, which is a competition for just for the new members, the new people signing up at HW Bot, only three months uh, registration period. And the 28th edition of the Rookie Rumble has just started a couple days ago. It's uh, finishing on March 5th. Yeah, and uh, quite popular again. There's some GSK memory for that one to win as well. Yeah. So if you guys are into getting an upgrade in the DR4, yeah. you might consider this one. Also, the Novice Nimble, Novice 7. So we keep on going with the popular competition. 11 days left in this one. 25 teams already competing. In the top, we have Overclock.net, always as strong. Hardware Ready OC official team from Italy and Overclockers.ua from oh. Ukraine. So no more Kalkutland. I haven't seen much of Kalkutland yet. Maybe, you know, they had a very difficult or uh, long celebrations for the New Year and Christmas. And it wouldn't surprise me. Too That's much cheese, you know. The French way of living, it seems. Uh, last competition we have to mention is the Skylake 5 gigahertz tweakers uh, challenge. There's a competition with three stages, mm -hmm. Super Pi 32M, XTU, and 3D Mark 11 physics. The CPU frequency is limited to 5 gigahertz so this is sort of a, a memory slash operating system tweakers kind of a challenge it's uh, still open for a very long time 190, 100, yeah. 191 days so plenty of time to submit to that one but mm -hmm. if you want to train your tweaking skills for sure that is something that and I've seen right now Germany is kind of leading that competition so yeah guys we cannot have a top three out of Germany Going from online to live, we've also also started the World Tour 2016 this year. It's bigger, it's better, it's uh, it's longer as well. And uh, our first stop was in Brazil last month. Yeah, so we were in Brazil uh, in Sao Paulo to be precise, and that was at the Campus Party, which is uh, an event we already attended in Berlin in the past and in other events uh, in Spain, for example. Valencia. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Campus Party over there is uh, really, really popular. There were more than 10,000 people attending the Campus Party, and we had a great time teaching people about overclocking. So we had some workshops. We also had some gathering for the local overclockers to come by, and we had some competitions for both the amateurs and the extreme guys. So 100 uh, 43 overclockers entered the, the qualifiers for the amateur tournament there. Uh, every time we took the top four of each competition, made a one versus one final. So there's a PXHX or 
Peshi Agashi in Portuguese. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so he's going to fly out as the Extreme Overclockers being the champion for Latin America. So Like I've seen him, him, I've seen uh, Paulo Hernandez, mm-hmm. I think is his name. Um, I've seen him in, in qualifications for big tournaments like the MOA or something like that. But it's the first time he actually qualifies to a grand final of an overclocking competition, which is very nice. It's nice to see a new face coming to the table and trying to, you know, put, yeah. put the flag of Brazil on the number one spot on the podium. Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting to see what he's going to do in the final. In the finals, where he's going to join by the next champion of the next World Tour stop, which is going to be in South Africa. Yep, we are flying out to uh, uh, Cape Town on March 15 to join uh, to join uh, all of the South African overclockers at the Rage Expo. It's the first time they do it in Cape Town, so it's going to be a very interesting, um, very interesting exercise. We know in uh, in the past Cape Town, uh, sorry, the past Rage in mm-hmm. Johannesburg, they would already had um, Vivi and Dr. Wees and Neo and and Pippi from from MSI already did a small workshop and it seemed to work very well. So we're very happy to do our uh, our world tour there as well. There's going to be a workshop again for amateurs, our main focus, and then also a World Series competition where um, you know the extreme overclockers from South Africa can compete to get a ticket to the World Championship. So there are some tickets left. So guys, if you're in South Africa, check it out. There's some tickets also for dry ice access if you don't want to do LN2 necessarily. And there's also some welcome seats for water cooling, so you can bring your own water cooling, and you still have access to dry ice in any ca- uh, in liquid uh, for liquid nitrogen. Sorry, in any case for the World Series competition, yep. so that's a cool opportunity to try it out. We also have a couple of uh, event partners already. Seasonic is of course a partner for the entire World Tour, so they will also be supplying the power supplies mm-hmm. for the Rage event in uh, in uh, Cape Town. Uh, G Skill will be providing the memory, so cool. we're going to awesome. have some Trident Z memory very well nicely designed memory also we have a partnership with streetcom which we can't really tell that much about yet so no. some very cool stuff coming yeah. out there and nag of course the organizer of rages partner on that event as well. of course um yeah stay tuned for more information on that event we'll put in, we'll be putting out the official news very very soon um stay tuned yeah yeah so in the community people also have been busy it's not just us organizing things that it actually it's very nice to see people all around the world organizing things so if you want to see what's going on check uh, x.hwbot.org that's where you can find all the news about that first up is indonesia who is hosting the first live overclocking competition of southeast asia of 2016 as simple as that it's the i techno cup 2016 it's taking place in uh, the polytechnic university of jakarta they have different branches so i'm not gonna say the name because i would make a mistake um it's a big uh, multi-skill event where they have competitions for web design, competitions for networking, and competitions for overclocking. So it's cool. Uh, the guys from Jagado C awesome. are taking care of organizing the tournament for the school. They're going to bench AMD A8 7650K APUs, AMD Radeon R7370. So it's going to be quite interesting. And it's going on, going on right now, so 23rd to the 25th. So if you want to check what's going on, go to jagadoc.com. Awesome. And uh, UK next weekend, which would be the 26th to the 28th, there's also The Big Freeze, which is an overclocking event organized by Obscure Paradox, mm-hmm. Lewis and uh, Gavbon from uh, Player.net. Correct. Um, so there will be a LAN party there, and there's a small bench session on the side where you can see liquid nitrogen. I've heard there's also going to be like small introductions to liquid nitrogen overclocking, so anyone who wants to learn how to do the extreme overclocking, they can go to Lewis or they can go to uh, to Gavbon. Yeah, and I hear the Asus is sponsoring as oh. well as some other partners. So pretty cool event. And there's going to be a live stream from that on Overclocking TV. So if you want to see what's going on, check it out this weekend. Uh, last event also happening, it's the Indian overclocking event in Calcutta, which is organized by ASUS over there. So they have the ASUS overclocking tour all around India. So they're different, doing different city. They did Mumbai last year as a kind of a starter event thing. And of course, Tullius and Abhishek are behind that one. There's going to be uh, some workshops, some competitions, and it's of course a gathering and some guest overclockers invited just like the previous events. So. Tulius cool. is actually pretty cool. He did some overclocker and focus interviews, which mm-hmm. I recommend uh, watching. You should also watch the interview with Bench Bros, which is the last one that we've published. Correct. Um, and there's a couple more with Dan Kopp. We've also interviewed Lejo. Of the, oh, pretty, pretty interesting. Lejo's interviews. one is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So check it out on YouTube. So that was it. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird intro, uh, outro. Sorry. 
Um, so next uh, Q&A is Tuesday, 1st of March, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Overclocking TV channel. If you have any questions about this episode, just let us know. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, share the video, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.